You're looking for a big brushless DC motor for your electric car or powered paraglider. So that could be the right motor for you. And it's not so complicated to do it. I show you in this video how to make the winding. So let's do it. First I'm configuring a strand with a right length. I'm using several thin wires in parallel. With some twists the wires stay together. A small bottle is a perfect tool for winding. The rotor and stator parts I have bought from another company and just do the winding on my own. The stator is made out of thin silicon steel laminations to reduce the eddy currents. To protect the wires from being scratched, the stator is painted and covered with small plastic parts on each slot. Before you start, you have to choose the right winding pattern. Normally, you have a printout of the schematic next to you, but I've done that a couple of times so I don't need a schematic. It is very important to have the correct winding direction on each tooth. Equal number of turns on each tooth is also crucial. Pull the wire with some force so that it sets perfectly in the slot. Make sure that you don't scratch the wire insulation on the stator, otherwise you will get a short to the stator. With a piece of wood I always compress the windings before doing the next one. All the winding has to be done as similar as possible. That means that you keep your winding style, pulling always with the same force. That is crucial to get the same electrical parameters for each phase. After finishing the first phase, I start the second phase next to the starting point of phase 1. I cut all the lead wires to exactly the same length. Then I burn the wire insulation with a flame. I carefully clean each wire. Since this motor has a delta connection, I twist the neighboring lead wires together. Using some flux helps with soldering. It is important that all wires are connected within the strand. Finally, some heat shrink tube protects the lead wires. In the next video I am going to show you how to install hall sensors and finalize the motor, so stay tuned.